right. One, two, three. What's, What's up, up sickos? sickos? Today we're going to bring you a five-minute movie review of a new movie called Nope, directed, written, produced by Jordan Peele. It's going to be the first of, hopefully, many more to come. So, let's jump right in. What are three words you would use to describe this movie? Me, personally, I would pick intense, I would pick innovative, and yeehaw. What about you? I would probably pick a fun, twisty mystery. Story to runtime ratio. I think it was maybe like one patch of this movie that was a little bit slow, but other than that, if we had to give this an actual number, runtime to ratio, like it was a one to one. The story and the runtime, I felt the whole time were jam packed or there was never any moments that were truly so dull that, that you lost interest. Never a time that I was like, mm, I wanna check Twitter. It was really gripping. Exactly, even the moments I felt were a little slow, the whole time I kept thinking, how is this gonna play in? Exactly. What song should have been on the soundtrack to this movie? Space Cowboy by Casey Musgraves. Yes, yes. <laughs> I really would have liked to see Johnny Cash, even something as basic as um, the Folsom Prison Blues. Costumes. The costumes were really interesting and really showed what the characters were like as costumes are basically supposed to do. It showed that OJ was proud of what he did, that he loved the animals. Emerald's outfits, she knew what was hot. She knew how to dress herself. Angel was like this weird emo guy. Stoner, but a conspiracy theorist. And yes. he like, His you roots know. were so deep for his hair that he had clearly bleached like one time, you know? Like it wasn't like he kept up with the style. That showed so much about him. The costume on Jupiter, the red costume that he's wearing, the details of it. Every time I looked a little bit harder, I saw a new detail and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they added this on the sleeve and that on the back. And it was just delightful. And it showed a lot of, you know, what he thought of himself. Bingo. Could, couldn't have said it better myself. What would dad, well, how would dad review this? My father would go, it's good. My dad would go, It was wild. How were the performances? Danny stole, like, really stole it for me. He was so present and rooted in what he was doing. There was, like, no doubt in my mind. Like, he was that role. He was so in it. He did a fantastic job. I, I agree completely. And I also think that Kiki just knocked it out of the park with her energy. And you saw the sibling bond between her and Danny. OJ and Emerald. Angel being a paranoid conspiracy theorist, weirdo tech guy was just uh, gr great for, was his name Brandon Pereira? All around. The cinematographer guy, someone who went to film school. Uh, I know people that are exactly like you. I've heard of people who are exactly like you and I've observed people who are exactly like that person. He, he knew how to do that very well. Who's the real star of this movie? That praying mantis. Lucky the horse. The effects, supremely well done. I'm interested to see basically how they will look in the future, but these are some of the best effects I feel like I've seen in years. That's probably because they were used only when they needed to be. It wasn't like they shot the whole ranch on a green screen. No, you could tell that there was practical sets and locations. They only used effects in the times where they needed to show something fantastic and there's definitely a couple other moments where things were happening in the sky that you could tell that's a real prop that's a real this and other yes. things were added on top of it or like perhaps when we see a shot of a window in particular you could tell that is practical effect and mm -hmm. not just a computer generated really added to the value and the cinematic like greatness of the movie yes definitely overall we would say See this immediately. Rush to the theaters. Run, don't walk. Go catch Nope by Jordan Peele in cinemas now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and um, see you on the next one. Oh, so I guess to the best of our ability with the one, two, three. <laughs> Cut out me thinking. I should have, I thought I should have thought about it more. Get the fuck away. Um, all right, 1043. Perfect.